do you mean there was no police report filed on the Harrington place? Oh, okay, just give me the name of the policeman in charge. Frisco Jones. Ah, well, did he say anything about a break-in, did he? Oh, terrific. When do you expect him back? You know, something, for someone at a police station, you don't know a whole hell of a lot. I'm sorry, I apologize. Is Robert Scorpio there? Oh, he's at the Delafield Halloween party. Thank you. No, 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 listen, just tell me, do you think he knows anything at all about the break? No. Hi, darling. Hi. Who was that? Um, it was just Delafield's. I called to reconfirm our reservation. Our reservation? The reservation we have for the Halloween party. Tonight? Yes. Tonight is Halloween. I don't want to go to a party. Oh, Alan, wait. I think it'll be a lot of fun for us, and I did get us costumes. You're going to go as Napoleon, and I'm going to go as Josephine. What do you think? I'm too tall to be Napoleon. I don't want to go to a party, Lucy. Oh, darling, come on. It'll, it'll be a lot of fun, and everybody who's anybody's going to be there. What a good reason not to go. Alan, you know something? We haven't gone out together in absolute ages. We also haven't spent a nice, quiet evening together in absolute ages either. But, you know, we are going to have plenty, plenty, plenty of time for that after the baby comes. Well, not necessarily. The baby has its own clock, Lucy, so the baby may be keeping us up, and we don't know what else. I think an excellent idea for tonight would just be to have dinner at home. We could go to bed early. Doesn't that sound good? Yes, darling. Sounds wonderful, whatever you say. I say, uh, uh, Commissioner, you know, <clears throat> I might be able to shed some light on this particular... Why? Nothing. Isn't this a lovely party? Darling, yes. dance with me, please. Uh, yeah. uh, Come on, darling. Sweetheart, what are you trying to do? I was just about to explain to the Commissioner about the intruders I saw crossing the Harrington lawn yes, earlier this evening. They weren't intruders. It was quite for me. What, what were you doing at the Harrington estate? <laughs> Excuse me. You're trying to put Lucy back in the gutter where she belongs? Tracy, you are being obscure. The diamonds, Ashton. Diamonds. There are diamonds at the Harrington oh, place? Give me strength. Oh, give me an explanation. The diamonds that Lucy is trying to claim Scott believes belonged to Victor Jerome. I see. Continue. Mm. If we find an heir to claim them, then Lucy won't get them. Right. But what does that have to do with breaking into the Harrington place? Victor Jerome was the last person to live at the Harrington place. We went to the Harrington place to try to get the information on an heir. It all comes clear. And did you find any? There's a possibility. Scott is in Berlin trying to track one down. In Berlin? Why, why Berlin? Shh. Ashton, I don't want to go into any lengthy explanation. Excuse me, Tracy. I don't want to end up in the cold. Which is what's going to happen to me if Lucy finds out what you two are Why up to. don't you just quit worrying about it and leave it all up to Scott? No, Hardy, ha, ha, yes, there's a really trustworthy ally. How come he gets to go to Berlin? Did you want to go, Ashton? Tracy, I have always, I have almost always been on your side. And as a matter of that, why didn't you go yourself? Well, because Lucy might get suspicious. If I left town, Scott could always say it was a business trip. Now, couldn't he? You couldn't say that, could you? How Scott about could say that. I... I buy that. So in the meantime, what are we going to do while he's gone? <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We? We. What oh, you can, oh, you can you <laughs> can sneer if you want, Tracy, but I worry about you sometimes. Oh, Ashton, that's so sweet. Besides which, if you and Baldwin bungle this, I could be out on my air right alongside you. Ah, yes, well, the ever-present ulterior motive. I now anoint you honorary quartermain. Thanks, but no thanks. Sit down and tell me the rest. Go. Do it now. Excuse me. English? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I don't... I'm looking for a friend of mine. Um, uh, 
Excuse and Z. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a friend of mine. It, it's it's very important. I don't mean to interrupt you while you're talking to such a such a pretty girl. Uh, but this friend, uh, see, the last address I got on him is, um, it's, it's right here in this bar, which <laughs> seems kind of funny to me, but I guess you Germans are very, very efficient. Not to mention, have wonderful senses of humor. Uh, well, anyway, maybe, maybe you know this guy. Evan Jerome. <laughs> How about that wall coming down? Have you seen if you breathe one word of this to Lucy, I will string you up by your thumbs. I don't know why you think that I'm so blasted palsy walsy with Lucy. Maybe it's the way you're constantly sucking up to her. Casey, I am merely trying to prop up a very precarious situation in that house. Well, you're right about one thing. If she finds out I was rifling Victor Jerome's stuff, she will throw us out. Yeah, if she talks to Frisco, she's going to find out exactly the same thing. Well, we just have to make sure she doesn't talk to Frisco. So, hmm, so you think uh, Victor Jerome has a grandson well, floating around did out there? as of a year ago. Well, he's have to be an extremely wealthy young gentleman if he steps forward and claims those diamonds. Well, it's fine with me as long as Lucy doesn't get them. Billy seems, you know, fair to me. I mean, he sort of waltzes in, claims the diamonds, waltzes out, and, you know, no, not even a token of his gratitude. What are you talking about, Ashton? What I'm talking about is that we've taken all the risk, we do all the work, we should charge him a finder's. Finder's fee, nothing outrageous. Say, say, ten diamonds. Ten perfectly cut diamonds. Do you have any idea how much that is worth? Oh, yes, I do. You're right. A finder's fee, I like it. I like it. Five you? <laughs> Five me. Uh-huh. What about Scott? Oh, Tracy, I realize that you have a very soft spot for old Scotty in your heart. But uh, take your ex-husband's advice and dump him. Scott wouldn't dare put anything over on me. Naivety does not become you, Tracy. For all we know, he's sitting over there in Berlin. He's cutting his own deal with his so-called Jerome heir. Don't you worry about Scott. Just keep your eyes on Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time here in Berlin, and uh, are all um, German girls as pretty as you are? Yes. Oh, I kind of doubt that. Uh. You, you come here often? Oh, what a stupid American line that is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking for a friend of mine, uh, Evan Jerome. Do you know him? Yes. You do? Do you, do you know where he lives? Yes. Good. Um, you know, first time here and everything, how, how would you like to play tour guide and, and show me where he lives? Could you do that? Yes. Yes? Are all you German girls as agreeable as you are? Yes. Oh, good. Well, shall we go? Yes. Yeah, to, uh, to, to my friend's place? Yes. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to show me? Come on, let's go. What are you doing? Uh, I was, uh, I was just having a conversation here with your friend. Really? You speak German? Uh, no, no. Well, uh, Berta doesn't speak English. Oh, sure she does. I just asked where my friend lives and she said... Yes? Yes, see? Yes. She says yes to everything. Lucky you. It's the only English word she understands. Verstehen? Verstehen. I was having a conversation and she didn't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> that's that's, that's yes. funny. Yes. Yes. Well, um, happy Halloween. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, Sean says Felicia is having the baby. That's wonderful news. Does, um, does Frisco know about it? Oh, I suppose so, yes. He's probably at the hospital right now, pacing up and down the floor. Oh, just think, Alan. It won't be long before you'll be doing that. Right, right, darling. And we can't wait, can we? No. You know what we should do? We should go over to the hospital right now. Why? Well, because I think us expectant parents-to-be should stick together. Really? Why? Tracy, I would not expect you to understand the joy that new parents feel. Funny, I can remember being a new parent myself. Really, I doubt it. It was such a very, very long time ago. Uh... Why don't we go to the hospital tomorrow? Oh. All right, darling, but I think I'm going to call Frisco and just give him our best wishes. What do you Why? think? Why? have plenty of time to congratulate him after the baby's born. Sit down. Hey, guys. Excusing the me, um, the American, Evan Jerome. I told you I don't know this Evan Jerome you keep talking about. Gestein. Gestein. Um, the, the interesting thing is that, um, you see, he's about to come into a lot of money, money, and, um, I'm sure that he would probably appreciate whoever it was that, um, told him about it. Look, if you're smart, you get out of this district. Before the bar's closed. Yeah, uh, thanks for the tip. Uh, listen, let me uh, let me give you my card, and um, um, if um, say he was to come in, you could give me a call. I would uh, appreciate it. <clears throat> Evan. Hans, uh, there's a guy looking for you. American. 